friends, it's Melissa. You probably can't hear me because I'm at Disney World well, California Adventure and it's really loud and I decided to film right by Fountain Fountain for some reason. Um, just got here at the Heroes Assemble event on May 1st, 2019 and basically I have no idea what to expect other than Iron Man's here at some point tonight and I really want to see Iron Man so that's what I'm going to do. Um, I have seen Endgame at this point. So you don't have to worry about spoilers from me. Um, but I will just go ahead and say, you know, I might say some things on accident in this video. So um, if you have not seen Avengers Endgame, maybe don't watch this. Or if um, there is a spoiler, I'll have like a little spoiler thing like this. And then once it's gone, you can unmute your video. How about that? There we go. Um, so I'm gonna do this tonight. I'll be trying to vlog as much as possible, but it's loud, it's crazy, and you probably can't hear me now, so. Yeah, but I will see you guys on our first thing. There's like a scavenger hunt and other things to do. Like, this is just a map. And then they give us like, oh god, hands. It's like the shield thing. Teeth. When you don't have hands. Um, but basically they have like all these different clues and things. And it looks like we're supposed to like fill out this code on the bottom. Um, and they give you all the hints on the back. So I'll just let you guys kind of look at those. Helps if my big fat fingers aren't covering them, doesn't it? Um, but yeah, that's kind of what it looks like to be. And yeah, we're just gonna go have fun. You wanna say hi? Hi. All right, so the main goal tonight is to meet Iron Man. We just got in line. The event does not start for another hour and a half. And yet, this is the line. You'll meet Iron Man up there. And it's all starting to like weave up in there. And this whole freaking line, like all the way. All the way over here. We're not even to where I was. We're still going. We're still going. The line is still going. But we're right, we're right there. I just love that I got everybody laughing though. <laughs> We're like, give us Iron Man. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, thank you, sorry. So friends, um, just met Iron Man. It's canon, I'm actually Peter Parker. 
you know, it just happens. It just happens. You get found out. You don't feel so good, Mr. Stark. I'm getting messages from Twitter, so sorry if there's noise. Um, but right now, we're going to go find all the Infinity Stones. So, yeah. Also, we figured out the scavenger hunt thing already, thanks to one of our friends in line. Um, they had all of the letters. We put it through a descrambler, and we figured out the code. So, we're going to try to figure that out later. We also need to go to the annual pass holder corner. Where is that? That's where the other one was for food and wine. Okay. Yeah, so we just have to go over there, get our free buttons, and we'll be good. Um, so, Hi. do you want to you wanna pop in here? Hi. She pointed to the reactor, and she's going to put a picture up with the caption, like, Proof Tony Stark has a heart. And um, you guys will have already seen the video at this point, so you guys know what it was. All right, so next time you see us, we'll have an infinity stone. Stone attained, and how did it taste? Delicious. There you go. The mind stone tastes delicious. you'll be able to hear me. I almost got run into by a little Iron Man. Um, but right now we just got like the reward for the scavenger hunt and honestly it wasn't really worth it. It kind of felt like a lot like we didn't really do it legitimately but it felt like what would have been like a lot of work for a very low-key prize. I don't know I didn't really feel like that was worth the value. Um, but now we're finally coming over to like Guardians to see what's really going on over here. So yeah. Pixar Pier though from here since they demolished everything which is kind of crazy. Huh. It's even a 50 minute wait for Guardians right now. So, Alrighty, so we've made the executive decision since there really wasn't anything going on over here anymore, if there was. Um, the collector photo booth kind of looked cool but I don't want to wait in that line for it right now when I only have like less than 40 minutes. So we made the executive decision to go to Cars Land and go on the Cars Ride because we never get to go on it because it's always so dang crazy. And we decided to get fast passes for other things when we come here normally for like our morning adventures when we do. Um, so yeah, we're gonna head on over to Cars to end off Superhero Night. All right, friends. So. It is like, there's only like a few minutes left, so we're just heading out now. We're, we're tired, we're exhausted. Um, closer to when we're at the car, or maybe when I'm home, I'm gonna give my thoughts about the whole event as like, 
a whole, you guys saw a lot of the stuff that I did. You guys saw most of the stuff that I did. Um, except for like the ride that I just went on, but you guys have seen cars before on this channel, so it's fine. Um, but yeah, so final thoughts coming. All right, friends, so I know I didn't do my, um, my last like wrap up kind of a thing last night. Um, came home, everybody was already asleep, so I didn't really want to do that. Um, and I figured while I'm pissed off at the Galaxy's Edge reservation system, um, I could go ahead and just let you guys know my feelings about the event. Um, I'm gonna compare it a lot to the Star Wars one because that was one of their earlier ones and honestly it was the best event that I went to. Um, this, the main thing that was like, it felt like there wasn't enough to do do and it was really concerning to me that they didn't even sell they had two nights and neither of them sold out for this event and yet we had to wait in line to over two hours to meet Iron Man um who was like the only new exclusive character where we don't know what's gonna happen with that character suit and everything we don't know if that's gonna be in addition to the park or not so of course people are gonna want to wait for that um, especially when all the other characters, sure, they have new backgrounds, but they're characters that are there all the time, or you have a chance of seeing. Iron Man, not so much. Um, so that just kind of rubbed me the wrong way. Like, and let me just say, too, like, I had fun. Like, I can't walk away and say I didn't have fun. Do I think I had over $100 worth of fun? No, not at all. And it just makes me really question, like, a lot of these events now because it seems like people now are just going to buy the tickets just to get extra time in the parks, which, it, fair, if you want to do that, go for it. But when you're planning an event, it you should, like, you should make sure that there's actually things that people want to do and that they're not waiting hours in line to meet a character. The only, like, cool free thing you got was... It like these end game trading card things or whatever when they handed them to you when you walked in. It's like all the characters and then for doing that scavenger hunt, this was your reward, was the Iron Man card. That was it. Those were your rewards for doing this super intensive scavenger hunt. And we didn't even we didn't even go around really. I found like one code and then someone in line was like, hey! here's what my letters are. Can you help me unscramble it? And we're like, sure. Um, and we got it and the code was Tesseract, which was like, okay, cool. So I thought it was going to be something related to that. And then it was just that and a photo opportunity. And it wasn't even like with a character or anything. Like if it was like Nick Fury came out suddenly or something like that would have been cool. Like that would have been worth it to be told like, you're part of S.H.I.E.L.D. now. Like, good job. Simba, do not reset my reservation. Okay, I'm like, I've been on this site forever. That's another issue in and of itself. Um, like, we waited, like, I think an hour to meet Captain America, and I was kind of over it at that point. Um, I really wanted to just, like, go home, and but at the same time, I wanted to stay because I paid, like, $110, and I wanted to make sure I was there the full time, and, like... I tried one of, like, the event churros you guys saw. I got, like, the thyme one, so it was green, and it was green apple. It just did not taste good. Like, I didn't like the frosting thing that they were putting on it, and it was just really a waste of money. My mom got the lemon one, and it smelled okay. She said that she liked it, so that was good, at least. Um, but, yeah, it was just, everything was so, like, spread out and disorganized. And the thing that really pissed me off was, I guess on the prior night, because this was the second night of it, and the final night of it, um, but on the previous night, on April 30th, they didn't allow people to start lining up for things early, they didn't do anything like that at all, um, like one of my friends, Lauren, you guys know her, um, she, uh, she was saying, because I was texting her the whole time, like, they started letting people line up at, like, 7.30, because she was telling me, like, just get to that area, like, 30 minutes before so you can hop in line super quick so you don't have to wait, like, two hours. And I still ended up having to wait, like, over two hours because when we got there in that area at 7.30, we weren't even going to head over there first. We were going to go over to, like, Pixar Pier and everything. 
But good thing we had it over there first because there was this huge long line and I start asking people, who are you? What are, what is this line for? Cause they all had the same badges and they're all like, oh, well we're waiting for Iron Man. And I'm like, it's seven 30. The event doesn't start until nine. Okay. I guess we're waiting in line. So we hopped in line where we were and you guys saw that already. Um, and then we had like a family hop in behind us and they had like their little girl go over and ask um, if this was the line for Iron Man and like some of the cast members were like, I hope so. But that really was not the answer that they should have given us because we were waiting and waiting for some answer and they weren't even giving us clarity. Um, yeah, I just, I think I'm kind of getting over Disney at this point. Um, like, I love Disney, but, like, their systems are just getting worse, and, you know, I, I can't compare it to Walt Disney World and how they run things, because I've never been, but I always hear stories about, like, oh, Walt Disney World is so much better because of this and this and this, and honestly, I'm starting to just get really over Disneyland. Like, they need to do something. They, you know, for... The prices you're paying and everything, you know, there's got to be a point where they limit things. And for the Star Wars event, for example, um, the longest line we waited in was for R2-D2 and C-3PO, and it was like an hour long. And that was it. Um, but they had a fireworks show going on. They had a parade. This event didn't have anything like that. It just had the scavenger hunt, and that was the main event, and all you got was that little card. That doesn't seem to equate too much to me. And they had little different, like, photo booths and things throughout. You guys saw some of them, like, the Guardians of the Galaxy one. There was one over by the pier that we didn't even bother, bother with. There was just a lot of, like, really cheap-looking things where, you know, I'm paying $110 for this. I don't get a show. I don't get a parade. Like, and you guys saw, too, I filmed what they were doing with, like, the Wall of Color pumps. Um, but, yeah, I was... It was still very bizarre to me and I just like I had fun and that's what like sucks is like I can't be like oh I hated it it was just completely awful because it wasn't completely awful it's just it was very clearly a cash grab because when we were leaving the park we were saying oh you know they could have done like a parade you know of like here are all of the agents of shield and they like have all the Avengers walk out, you know, like that would have been cool. Like they have the Black Panther truck. They could have had Black Panther on that. They've like, they've got all of these things that they could have used to make something more entertaining, more of a spectacular event. And it just wasn't, um, like it was an event, but I like, this isn't going to be memorable for many people. Maybe the Iron Man thing, but that's it. Like, I don't know. It's, it just sucks because you can just tell, like, everything's just kind of becoming about, like, money and it's not really about the experience anymore or the quality of the experience for the guests coming in. It's more just, this is what we have. Enjoy it or leave. And that's not what Disney is or was in the past, even more recent past, you know? Um... So anyway, I've been sitting at my computer for like over two hours, um, just waiting for these galaxies observations that seem like they're never going to come. So, um, I'm just going to leave this here. Um, I might fill in the description or like leave a text thing at the end with more thoughts right now. Um, but that's kind of it at the moment. I don't think I'll do another after dark event for a very long time. Um, just cause, d uh, waste of my night, almost. Like, I could have done everything in an hour in there. <sighs> like, it wasn't like the Star Wars night where there was, like, events going on. And there were other characters at the Star Wars event that I didn't have time to go meet because there was so much going on. This, I felt like, okay, yeah, I could have tried to wait in line for all the characters, but they're characters that are always here. At the Star Wars night, it was characters that were only there for that night. You can't meet them anymore, and I missed out on them because you can't meet BB-8 in Disneyland. You can't meet Ahsoka in Disneyland. You can't meet a lot of the characters that they had. You can't meet Darth Maul anymore. You know, and we met Darth Maul. That was one of the other ones we waited for, but you couldn't meet R2-D2, C-3PO, you know? So, I don't know what they're doing, what they're thinking, 
other than just give us your money, so. <sighs> Alright, unless there's a text thing after this, I will see you guys all next time. Bye!